We're in our kitchen today, cooking up mm. some overnight oats. Well, we're not really cooking, right? Right. We're just going to show you how to make a quick assembly, right? Y'all know about overnight oats? Because overnight oats are served room temperature or cold, and so there's no need to cook them. We're totally crushing on the overnight oats. So we're going to talk to you about this pumpkin spiced overnight oat. It's really, really simple to make. We're going to start with a can of coconut milk. And you, you should know that all coconut milk is not created equal. So they vary in the, uh, the thickness a great deal from can to can. So if, it, if it's really thick, you're probably going to have to add a little bit more water. And if it's not so, maybe adjust the water. So, so maybe I just put a little water in here. About a half a cup. Uh -huh, okay. Exactly. And then we can put the spices in. These are like pumpkin pie spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom. cardamom. If you have actually a little mix of pumpkin pie spices, you can do that. Just a little shake, shake. We just want to be creative and use the spices that we love. We just love cardamom so much. We love um, the cardamom. So, uh, and so it was about, it was three quarters of a teaspoon cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and we added about a fourth of a teaspoon cardamom and about an eighth of a teaspoon nutmeg. But you know what, just, just add as you, as your palate um, guides you. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a little dollop of maple syrup. And that's about two tablespoons ish. So and you could add, add a pinch of salt here. Don't forget the salt with the overnight. Hefty oats. pinch I mean, of salt. Two pinches, right? Yeah, for sure. And we like to use Himalayan sea salt. Um, we've been reading that there are plastic contaminants and some of the other brands of, of, sea, of salt out there. And so this comes from Clean. the. Um, Himalayas and it's clean and actually got some good um, nutritional value. I think yeah. there's some some what, sorts some of minerals. minerals. Yeah. So I'm just adding good old fashioned rolled oats. Okay, organic. About a cup and a half here. So we're just gonna give this a stir, and let's show the camera here. It's you're gonna see that it's quite. It looks fairly thin right now but the the oats are going to start absorbing the liquid fairly quickly and okay you, know, you can stick your finger in there right at that point and decide if it has enough sweetness and mm -hmm. enough salt and you know what i'm going to put a little bit more maple syrup Just make it here. decadent there. and we need another little pinch of salt yeah okay so okay. here's the deal you need to soak them, they say roughly four hours to overnight, but you know what? I never make it four hours. No. Like, oftentimes in the morning, I just throw it together, go to a yoga class, come home. I'm kind of into intermittent fasting. Don't eat till like 11 or 12 or one, something like that. And like, mm -hmm. voila. So you don't, it could be like an hour or two yeah. and up to four or overnight. It will continue to absorb liquid. Uh, at the longer you soak them. So if you like them more on the runny side, then, um, you know, I, that's how I like them. And you can add a little liquid or not accordingly. Okay, so. and what's exciting about overnight oats is what you add to them. So there are all these different condiments that you can pull from. You can go with fresh pears or fresh apples. You could go with applesauce or pear sauce. You could go with dried fruits, nuts, seeds, yeah. dried coconut. I mean, the sky people are putting nut yeah. butters yeah. and all sorts so, of. People are Mary. I was just reading that people are adding matcha powder to their overnight oats oh, and coffee. Yeah. yeah, coffee. And you can even do chai powder. There are different masala chais on the market. Golden milk. You can put a little golden milk powder, which means it has mm -hmm. turmeric in it. Turns but yellow. We are gonna. We're gonna do some uh, some pear. pears, and then we're gonna do apple, and uh, give you two different combinations that we like today. So we're gonna use our salad master food processor. If you're not f familiar with this, it's a a um, machine that we use all the time in our kitchen. It has different cones, and we're gonna start with cone three because each cone gives you a different slice. So you can see how easy it is to grate the pear. And you can see Mary's just rotating the pear and um, up against the core See how like easy that. that is? 
But if you don't have the salad master, that's totally cool. You can use a grater. You can just chop the pear by hand. So we've just got some grated pear ready to go, and we're gonna drop this right on top of the overnight oats. Here, I'm just pulling that seed out. And then we're gonna put some walnuts on top. And uh, then the next combination we thought we'd show you is an apple. So we're starting here with a honey crisp apple, and I'm just gonna grate this real quickly. See how easy this is. You can see why we're so in love with this client. It's really awesome. Okay, so this is just a different rendition here. We've got the second half of the oats, and then we're gonna put the honey crisp here, and I'm gonna go with pecans for this rendition. So and, uh, here we have two. Mary and I were kind of giggling on the front side of taking this video. Like, which do you like better? I'm totally crushing on the pear and walnuts with a little garnish and of cinnamon. And for me, the honey crust wins with the pecans. It's such a natural combination, pecans and apples. But we want to hear what you like. What combination see, suits Mary. your fancy? Let's yeah. have a taste and see what we think. Um, no, let them know, know what you like. Your, Maybe the pear. I mm, think I like good. it better. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Anyway, mm. have fun with overnight oats and oh, yeah. check out our website. Check out our website at marionsarah.com for more recipes.